This video is about the classification of lipids. There are different classification of lipids, but the most common classification of lipid is the Bloor classification method. In Bloor classification, the lipids are divided into simple lipids, complex or compound lipids, and derived lipids. Let's see each one by one by seeing their examples and with their functions. First of all, simple lipids, as the name indicates, these are the simple form of lipids that has fatty acids attached to the alcohol. So they simply consist of fatty acids and alcohol. Examples of the simple lipids include triglycerides and faxes. Let's see the structure of the triglycerides. As the name indicates that triglyceride, which means it consists of three fatty acids. In triglyceride structure, three fatty acids are attached to the glycerol. In this case, the alcohol is the glycerol. These fatty acids attach to the glycerol through the ester bond formation. As you can see here, the ester bond formation occurs between the hydrogen and the hydroxyl group. Hydrogen of the glycerol and hydroxyl group of the fatty acids. In this case, the ester bond is formed, esterification occurs, and the three molecules of waters are released because there are three fatty acids are attached to the at three sides on the glycerol. So that's how they form the triacyl glycerol. Now, what are the functions of triglycerides? They are also known as neutral fats in the body. What are their functions? They are normally involved in storing energy. They are also involved in building cell membranes. They also produce hormones, hormones like testosterone and estrogen. They are also protect against inflammation. How? By inducing or by promoting the production of the immune cells. They are also involved in insulating the body by providing the cushion to the body and protecting it from injuries. They also involved in the absorption of fat soluble vitamins. The other example of the simple lipids are waxes because waxes are also composed of simple fatty acids attached to the alcohol. As you can see here, the general structure of the waxes is given here in which the fatty acid chains are attached to the alcohol. As there are different forms of waxes are available and there are different derivatives that are derived from the waxes. So that's how the waxes can be available in different forms. The general formula you can see here the number of atoms in carbon and hydrogen they may vary they may vary for different form of the waxes as you can see here given there are different form of the waxes and they are different from each other because of the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms present in between these waxes now what are the functions of waxes the example of the waxes that are naturally present in our environment are the b waxes what are the function of the different form of waxes that they provide waterproofing it means that they are also present on the plants so in plants they protect the leaves of these plants from the damage or from the loss of water into the environment they also protect these plants against abrasions it means that they protect these plants leaves and their outer structure from the damage. They are also used as insect repellent because by using waxes, they repel the attraction of the different insects to these to the surfaces of these plants. They also protect these plants against the harmful UV radiation. They also provide a barrier. It means that they provide a barrier between the leaves and the environment so that they may not get damaged by the air and moisture. They also help in lubricating. It means that as we, if we give the example of the humans that they provide by these vaccines, it reduces the friction between the skin and the cloths. Now let's see the other classification, which are the complex and compound lipids. As the name indicates in complex and compound lipids, they are a combination of more than two molecules. So they form the compound and complex molecules. What are they? They are made up of fatty acids combined to the alcohol and to which the additional groups are also attached. 
what are these additional groups on the basis of these additional groups they are further classified into the compound lipids are of different types these are phospholipids glycolipids and lipoproteins it means that in these molecules the fatty acids and are attached to the alcohol and additionally as the name indicates in phospholipids the additional group will be the phosphate and in glycolipids the additional group will be the glucose or carbohydrates let's see these examples one by one first of all the phospholipids as the name indicates that in this classification in this compound lipids the glycerol is attached with fatty acids and the additional group is the phosphoric acid so this structure of phospholipids these fatty acid tails make them hydrophobic they are non-polar while this phosphoric make them hydrophilic in nature what are the examples of these different classification of phospholipids they are further classified on the basis of the type of alcohol used as the name indicates glycerophospholipids in glycerophospholipids the alcohol is the glycerol while in case of sphingolipids the alcohol is in this case is the sphingosine while the rest structure is the same that these both are composed of fatty acids alcohol and the phosphate attached to it similarly this type of lipid also contains the alcohol fatty acids and phosphate but the only difference between these two is that in this case the fatty acid the alcohol sometimes may be used in, in the form of glycerol or sometimes the alcohol can also be used as sphingosine so that's how they are classified into two types glycerophospholipids and sphingophospholipids because on the basis of the alcohol different type of alcohol used what are the functions of phospholipids in our body these include they the most important one is that they are involved in the formation of cell membrane as we know that the cell membrane is composed of the hydrophilic head and hydrophobic fatty acid tails so these are the fatty acid tails and the head is composed of the glycerol and the phosphate group is also attached in the head that's why they make them non-polar non-polar tail while the polar is the head so the head region is out is towards the surfaces while these non-polar surfaces are towards the inside so that's how the phospholipids these two layers are involved in the formation of cell membrane so that's how they are known as phospholipid bilayer so these are involved in the formation of the cell membrane the other function is transporting molecules as these phospholipids are also involved in the transportation of molecules from inside to outside and from the outside to inside of the cell the other function is the signaling as these phospholipids are also involved in the signaling they give signal to other cells to perform the specific functions to be done the other function is the protecting cells as they are involved in the barrier they provide the barrier or boundary to the cells so that's how they're involved in the protection of the cells the other function is they are involved in the activation of certain enzymes that are involved in the different metabolic processes they are also involved in the production of certain hormones now let's see the structure of the glycolipids glycolipids are also the simple lipids combined with the carbohydrate unit this carbohydrate unit may be galactose glucose or any other carbohydrate molecule so because of these carbohydrate unit attached with the simple lipids means that there will be the alcohol and the long chain of fatty acids so they form the complex molecule known as the glycolipids as the name indicates glyco means carbohydrate unit so these carbohydrate together with simple fatty acids they form the glycolipids let's see what the classification of lipids just like the classification of phospholipids as we have seen earlier they were also classified into two groups on the basis of the alcohol different types of alcohol used similarly in glycolipids if the alcohol is sphingosine then it will be known as sphingolipids and if the alcohol group is with glycerol then it will be known as galactolipids so glycolipids are also divided into two groups sphingolipids and galactolipids based on the type of alcohol attached if the sphingosine together with fatty acid it forms the simple lipids and then the additional carbohydrate unit in the form of mono or oligosaccharide will be attached the other is the galactolipids in which the alcohol used is the glycerol 
attached with the fatty acids and the other will be the monosaccharide or disaccharide and sometimes in some form the sulfate will also be attached so they are also known as sulfolipids so sulfolipids sometimes sulfate may also be attached in the glycerol so they will be known as sulfolipids what are the function of these molecule glycolipids glycolipids are involved in cell recognition as carbohydrates when they are attached with the phospholipids or lipids they are involved in the recognition they are just like a marker they are attached on the surface of the cell every cell every species cell has a unique marker has a unique glycolipids that are used for their identification so they will distinguish between the self cell and the microorganisms the other example or other function is the storage glycolipids are also the storage form of uh, carbohydrates together with the lipids as lipids are stored so when they are attached with the lipids carbohydrates can also be stored along with the lipids and whenever there is a depletion of carbohydrates then they will be utilized for the energy purposes the other example or function is the signaling glycolipids are also involved in the signaling processes as they are attached with the cell surface so they will be used in the communication with the other cells there are also other function is the protect the cells and they are also involved in the development as they are involved in the development of the nervous system the third and the last form of the compound lipids are the lipoproteins as the name indicates that they are made up of lipids combined with the proteins so in this case the protein is known as the apoprotein is used lipoproteins are considered as just like a transport vehicle which carries the lipids and that are surrounded by the proteins like in proteins the lipids are carried and then they are transported inside the body they are also used for the absorption purposes and they are also carried in the body in the blood in the form of lipoproteins so in lipoproteins the the lipids in the form of triglycerides cholesterol free cholesterols phospholipids and these all form the layers and then they are surrounded by the apoprotein and these apoprotein and this lipoprotein are then transported in the body are carried in the body let's talk about the functions of the lipoproteins as i already discussed that the lipoproteins are commonly known as the transporting vehicles they act as a vehicle that carry the lipids and then transport them across the body they also help in regulating the cholesterol levels how they regulate the cholesterol levels as i already discussed they are known as the vehicles so what they do when the cholesterol is needed to the body they will carry from the storages like they are commonly stored in the liver so they will carry the cholesterol from there towards the body for utilization and whenever the body does not need or if they have enough energy then the cholesterol will be taken back to their storage form in these there are different types of lipoproteins so as i told you that regulating cholesterol levels in regulating the cholesterol levels two types of lipids are used they are low density lipoproteins and high density lipoproteins these are two different types of lipoproteins hdl and ldl we will discuss and study about them in detail in our separate videos videos that are ldl and hdl the other function is they are involved in signaling they also protect the cells from damage and last classification of lipids are the derived lipids they are just derived from the simple and compound lipids as we already discussed earlier about the simple lipids simple lipids were the combination of fatty acids together with the alcohol the examples of the simple lipids includes triglycerides and waxes and we have also discussed about the compound lipids that were the combination of fatty acids alcohol and together with some additional group that may be phosphol phosphate in case of phospholipids they may be some carbohydrate unit in case of glycolipids and if the protein is attached then they will be known as lipoprotein so from these simple and compound lipids when they are hydrolyzed when the hydrolysis of these molecules occurs by different mechanisms and processes then they give rise to derived lipids these derived lipids are also known as the form of lipids but not directly they are considered as lipids so what are these derived lipids that are obtained by the hydrolysis of the simple and compound lipids there are different forms there are fatty acids steroids 
cholesterol, fat soluble vitamins and ketone bodies. Let's see the function of each of them one by one. One of the most common directors of the lipids are the fatty acids. As fatty acids are the main components of the storage form of energy and as fatty acids are the main components of the cell membrane. As fatty acids make up the tails of the phospholipids and these phospholipids make up the cell membrane. Steroids are also the derived form of lipids. There are many functions of steroids they are involved in regulating metabolism reproduction and development there are different types of steroids cholesterol is one of the type of steroid it has many useful functions that they are the main component of the cell membrane as in the cell membranes in the fatty acid tails the cholesterol is present in the form of fluid that is helpful for the fatty acid tails to move inside to freely move inside the cell membrane they have also other useful functions. They are also involved in the metabolism and cholesterol. They are also involved in the production of certain hormones like aldosterone, cortisol, testosterone, and estrogen. The other derivative are the fat soluble vitamins that also require the presence of lipids for their absorption. The fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, D, E, and K. What are the functions of vitamin A? Vitamin A, they are involved in vision, reproduction, bone health, immune system, and the development of skin. The vitamin D, they are involved in strengthening the bones, calcium absorption, and boost of immune system. Vitamin E, they are also involved in boosting the immune system and removal of the toxins. Vitamin K, they are involved in blood clotting, and also involved in the bone health. Ketone bodies are also the derivatives of the lipids where they are obtained. Ketone bodies are obtained in the liver when fatty acids are broken down. It means that ketone bodies are derived from the fatty acids. So these fatty acids, when they are broken down in the form of ketone bodies, they will be used for energy purposes. So whenever in the body the glucose levels are low, these Ketone bodies will be obtained by the hydrolysis or by the breakdown of the fatty acids and will be utilized as energy for the brain. This method or this phenomenon is most commonly found in the diabetic patients in which when they have low blood sugar levels, then their body stores of lipids and fats are used for the ketone bodies production. Ketone bodies are in the form of three form they are available in the body. They are acetone, acetoacetate and 2-hydroxybutyric acid. That was all about the classification of lipids. I have discussed each one of them separately along with their examples and functions in detail. This is the overall view for the classification of lipids that what we have studied so far. We have studied the simple lipids and the complex lipids. In simple lipids, there were simple triglycerides and waxes. In complex lipids, we studied about phospholipids glycolipids and lipoprotein. In phospholipids, they were further divided into two glycerophospholipids and sphingophospholipids based on the alcohol attached, glycerol and sphingosine. Similarly, glycolipids, sphingolipids and glycolipids based on the alcohol attached, sphingosine and glycerol. That was all for today. If you were able to understand it, please like and share.